Hey folks, this is it. The final step of the dust collection install. This is uh, something we've been waiting for. We're a little bit nervous because up until this point, it's all been fun and games. We haven't really impacted our business. We've just been working on stuff, slowly getting this thing together. Now, we're gonna have to take our old dust collection pipe down, put some new pipe up. That means we're shut down. If we can't collect sawdust, then we can't make sawdust. If we can't make sawdust, we're not making money. So this is a pretty high priority for us. It's gonna be day and night for myself, my wife, Martha, and even our dog Chip, he'll be out here helping us. The goal is to be shut down and be running again within a week. And that's gonna be a little optimistic because there's a lot of stuff to install. We have a pretty good plan. We've got a diagram. We think we have all the parts. And I guess we're gonna see how well this thing goes together. We're gonna to show a few clips as we go along and see how this works. Anyway, follow along and let's see how this turns out. Maybe we'll be up and running before you know it. support straps now. That's a big step. Put in the metal straps. Try to hold everything up. Alright, we got this thing done. Took us a while. Took longer than I expected. Give or take off and on two weeks. This is the uh, Collector itself goes in through the wall, comes in. Actually, you can see our old dust collector blower right there, so you can kind of tell the relative difference between the two. Comes on down, makes a dog leg, goes inside the building, comes back out. Well, it doesn't come back out, just keeps going, goes for the sawmill. 
you can see we got a nice flex hose set up right there that goes down to the sawmill port it goes back inside the building goes in goes to the sawmill if you don't have a dust collector on your sawmill you're missing something let me tell you what that is wonderful and you can see this is what the blast gate is supposed to look like nice clean installation we'll do them all like that at some point but it, right now it's time to get this thing up and running and we were tired of playing with it it's definitely a not a do it in an afternoon job but it's a big improvement over what we used to have. Very impressed with it. Does a great job. Main thing, it works with our planer. One thing we've noticed also on our straight line rip saw, it pulls up enough chips where our conveyor stays relatively clean. Used to have, used to have a lot of problems with it clogging up sawdust marking the boards we're not seeing that so anyway this has been fun i really don't want to do it again so let's turn this thing on throw the main switch come over here turn on the flux capacitor which is the phase converter let it come on here in a button and we hit the blower on we put the airlock on we can hear Closes whistling. to look like when you got a good system working we have the airlock we have a nice beautiful pile of sawdust just a hair a little bit fell out on the ground but this is the goal a nice neat pile of sawdust perfect appreciate you watching this has been a fairly long project for us. We normally like to knock things out pretty quick. This was taking the better part of two weeks. If you like what you see, let me know. And if you want to see other parts of our shop or other things that we do, put it in the comments. Please subscribe so I know somebody actually cares about what we're doing. And I'll continue filming some of the things. Maybe you'd like to see the straight line working. Maybe you'd like to see the big gold planer working. I'll probably make a video of that. It's pretty cool. Anyway, please hit the subscribe button. Leave us some comments. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.